What's up everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you how to downgrade your iPad 2, iPhone 4, or your iPod Touch 3rd generation from 6.0 back down to 5.1.1 to re -jailbreak. First, go to my website in the description, bestidevicehelp.com. Click on Downloads. Then click on Tools. And you're going to see Resno 0.9.6 Beta 3. Click on that. Save it. Once it's finished downloading, in just one split second, open the folder. I mean, open the view file. Okay, open the downloads. Okay, double click on it. Uh, I don't know what happened. Okay. Either way, go to doc. I'm gonna go to my downloads. And on the download 0 0.96 beta. Okay, right click on it. And press extract all. Extract it. It's gonna open the folder. Once you open the folder, go into the folder, go into the folder again. And on the rest no application, right click on it. Go to properties. Go to compatibility mode. And make sure you run it as in XP Server Pack 3. Server Pack 3 right here. Apply it. Press OK. Now right click on it again. Open as administrator. Okay. Yes. And there you go. Um, you know, um, connect your device via USB. I have my iPad 2 connected right here. I'm gonna readjust this a little bit. Okay, and my iPad 2 is connected. And now you're gonna go to extras. even more go to restore and you need to download your 5.1.1 software previously before doing this you need to have it handy for your device go to your IPSW's well, browse for your IPSW once you locate it click on it open it Okay. I think I finally got it working this time. Let's get this on over. Okay, now you press remote server. And it's going to locate your blobs. And you need to um Okay, it says put in DFP mode. You put in DFU mode by uh, holding the home and power button until the screen turns off for two seconds after it turns off. Let go of the power button, continue holding the home button until it detects in DFU mode. Okay, now it is processing. 
and it's going to downgrade it now. Once this is complete, I'm going to hurry up and punch in all my information to activate it and uh, show you it's downgraded to 5.1.1. Then we're going to press back a few times on this software right here and we're going to uh, press the jailbreak button and we're going to jailbreak it. I'm going to show you the process of that too. As you can see right here, it shows uh, iPad 2 and it shows 5.1.1. But I'm going to show you that in just a second. It's getting close. Okay, it's done. Okay, slide a lot. English. Press next. United States. Press next. No, I'm black now. Um, enable location services. Press next. Get on the internet. Let's type my password real quick. Okay, and okay, it's connected. Next, 
Okay. Wanna set up as a new iPad? You can't restart the backup to the fact that you downgraded it, so you can't restart to get back up. Uh, I'm gonna sign in right now real quick. Give me one split second. Okay, I just signed in. Press agree. Agree again. Okay. Give it one second. Come on. Okay. I'm gonna say don't use iCloud. iCloud for now. What's next? Don't send. And start using iPad. Okay, and on here, we're gonna press back, 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 and we're gonna press jailbreak. Okay, I'm gonna connect my iPad back up to USB real quick. And. Press jailbreak now. Okay. Keep giving me arrow. Either way, we're gonna hold the home and power button until it goes into DFU mode. The, the screen turns off. Let go of the power button. Continue holding the home button now. Okay. Now it is in DFU mode. And now we're gonna press OK. Gonna press back. Press jailbreak again. I don't know why he's giving this error. Either way, if you have the absent program installed, if you have it on your computer already. Just load up the absent program. And I'll show you how to jailbreak with that one. Or if not, I'm gonna put it in my uh, website to show you how to do it with that with the absent program. Absent 2.0. Click on it, right click on it, press uh run as administrator. Okay, we're gonna take out a DFU mode now. Constantly having problems. Once it uh, gets out of DFU mode, then it's gonna allow you to jailbreak with absence. It just shows you that you're not you're not always gonna have like a perfect uh, downgrade. It takes. It takes some time. It takes a lot of effort. You just gotta play around with it a lot. Okay, now that we're back on. Now you're gonna press jailbreak. Okay, it's gonna say restoring device in just one second. Okay. Restore in progress. Okay, it's powering down. Okay. Powering back up now. Okay, now unlocking it and give it one split second. It's finishing up the jailbreak right now.
Okay. Here we spring again. And now I'm going to slide on over. There's Cydia. And once that loads, you know how it works. It's preparing um, the file system right now. And it's going to exit, then you go back into it. And you press user and press done. And that's how you downgrade and re jailbreak. That's all I'm showing in this video. If you liked it, rate a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.